Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and today we're doing a quick guide on how to install mods for Total War Three Kingdoms because I've been getting quite a few requests from different uh, subscribers who's leaving comment about how to install the same mods I'm using for my Let's Plays. And for those who are new to the Steam Mod Workshop, as well as some of the Total War mods, this will be a quick guide to help you get started. So the first thing you want to do is hop over to your Steam page and select the game that you want to get the mod for and then go to their workshop page. This is where you will see all the mods listed. Now Steam Mod Workshop is not the only place you can get mods. You can also get it on places like Nexus and just have to install it into your game folders yourself. This is just what I typically use for my Let's Plays and I also drop the Steam Workshop link in the description below. So if you want to play the same setup I have, this is where it will lead you. And for example, if we hop over to files that I have subscribed to, uh, you can see that these are the mods that you can search up. And once you search up to a mod and we click open the mod page, you can subscribe to it. This is how you install the mod onto your computer. And they often recommend a collection of mods that works well with this particular mod. And the mod maker will introduce their mod, talk about where to put it in terms of load order, what features are installed. And for example, currently for our Let's Play using the 190 expanded mod, uh, you basically go to the main mod, which is the 190 expanded overhaul. And here, the author of the mod have provided this recommended collection, and this is the one that I'm actually using. And the collection not only tells you which mod you need, and you can just subscribe to them here using the check mark, it also tells you the load order that they need to be in so that there's no conflicts between the mods since they each change different things from the base game. So take a note of what order they're in here. And once you have subscribed to them all, your Steam will start to download them. So this is probably one of the mods updating today, and uh, it's automatically going to update for you. And once it's updated here, what you need to do is that you need to go to your game launcher. And once your launcher is set up here, there is the mod manager. Now, this is part of CA's uh, setup here with their launcher. This might go away in the future from what I am hearing. So this might change in the future, but as for now, you want to go into your mod manager and it will show you all the mods you have subscribed, but not yet activated. This button here activates the mod and basically applies the change to your game. And this is also where you will add the order of your mods. So for example, I have this mod here that I use for the tournament balancing I don't need it right now for gameplay, uh, so this is just turned off. And then these follow the same exact order that was listed on the workshop page so that there's no conflicts between the mods. And once everything is checkmarked here, just go ahead and hit play. And you only have to do this once. You can drag to change the order. Uh, in the future, if everything's not changed in between gameplay, just go ahead and hit play, and it will remember all the mod, and it will actually prompt you to tell you what mods have been activated for this playthrough and just hit play or disable the mods here and you'll be able to carry on with your game. And when you're done with this set of mods and you're looking for something else, you can definitely go back to the Steam Workshop and let's say go over here. You can you know, unsubscribe or subscribe more mods and just turn them on and off in the mod uh, manager even though it does get a little bit slow. So I do recommend you, if you're not gonna play the mod, then just simply unsubscribe and get your new set of mods that you wanna play for your next playthrough. But I also know people who keep, you know, hundreds of mods subscribed to and just turn the mind off. I just like to keep things a little bit clean. So that's how you would install mod for Total War Three Kingdoms using the Steam Mod Workshop. And hopefully this helps you experience the game in different ways. So until next time, bye.